what is going on everybody i am here for the first time on buffalo fanatics uh for a video for you guys now um i don't know if you guys know who i am probably not i have a small channel called blue on blue productions and i'm coming over from there um and i am now paired with buffalo fanatics so i'm going to be here full time so hopefully you guys do like my content and everything like that my name is jake and i expect a lot of content from me on this channel I'm going to be trying my best, trying to upload as frequently as I can, uh, best quality videos that I can make for you guys. So uh, I cannot wait to get started with these guys. This is going to be my first video, and we're going to be talking about EJ Manuel. Now, what does EJ Manuel have to do with the Bills? Uh, well, you know, he used to play for us, and he is retiring. So I just wanted to at least make a video um, looking back on EJ Manuel's career and uh, my thoughts on his whole career, basically. Um, so. So to start it off, the Buffalo Bills back in 2013, I remember all those years ago, um, they picked him in the 2013 NFL Draft 16th overall. Now this, I can say right now, was a mistake. Big, big, big mistake. And that is because he is not a starting quarterback. I mean, even for the Bills, he didn't even play that much. He played or he only started 17 games um, in four years. So clearly not a, re a reliable quarterback by any means. His rookie year was his best uh, statistically because he played, uh, he started 10 out of 10 games. He did get injured, unfortunately, which is one of the reasons why his career was really hindered. And, and it, he had a very weird career. So basically he got injured. I vividly remember his injury. I remember this. He was running out of bounds. And um, some Cleveland player actually went down low with his helmet, helmet right to the knee. And EJ Manuel was down. I probably have a picture in this video uh, about it. But uh, yeah, it was a very unfortunate injury. He really messed up his knee. And that really sucks because he wasn't having, I mean, he wasn't having a great rookie campaign. But he wasn't doing horrible, you know what I'm saying? He, he was pretty average, you know. Uh, that draft class wasn't great for quarterbacks anyway. But... So looking back at his stats, uh, in 2013, he came up with 11 touchdowns and 9 picks in 10 games. Um, almost 2,000 yards, he had 1,900. And uh, he actually rushed for 159 yards as well. Um, so, you know, he wasn't he wasn't amazing. Uh, he was okay at best. He, he wasn't really, uh, you know, a game changer at all. Uh, I wouldn't say... If I had to compare him to Josh Allen right now, I have to say Josh Allen definitely has way more upside than he had. See, this is where his career takes a weird turn, right? So basically in 2014, Doug Marone was, you know, kind of fighting for his job, right? Because he drafted a quarterback, he got injured, he's not really that great. Uh, he's on the verge of losing his job, possibly. And he goes out and he grabs Kyle Orton, a uh, longtime backup. Um, he was actually a starter for Denver, uh, he played for th the Bears, and he was recently a backup for the Cowboys at this time. He comes over to Buffalo, sends a one-year deal, and he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll play backup. Well, we start th the season off, EJ Manuel plays the first four games of the season. Uh, wins two, loses two, you know, he's, he's alright. Was, wasn't looking great at all, you know, he threw five touchdowns, three picks uh, in the four games that he started. In the fifth game, he was benched, actually. And Kyle Orton came in. Now, we didn't really expect anything from Kyle Orton. We kind of thought this was a crazy idea. Like, why bench your rookie quarterback trying to develop, right? It's to save his job. That's exactly why. To save Doug Marone's job because the Bills, he couldn't have another losing season. And you know what? He didn't disappoint. Kyle Orton did a pretty damn good job with what he had on the team. Uh, this year, we got Sammy Watkins. Uh, we had Robert Woods. We had, a, we had a pretty good offense with Kyle Orton running the show. Um, I even remember... I have some good memories from these years. I'm not going to bring them up right now. But Kyle Orton, you know, he wasn't bad at all. I have no problem with Kyle Orton playing. But the thing is, EJ Manuel probably did. You know, I mean, he got he got benched for a veteran. I guess that, that kind of sucks. You know, he's supposed to be the face of the franchise, and they're already turning his back on him in his second season. Um, so that's bad for him. He, he doesn't finish out that season uh, starting at all. So the next year, in 2015... Uh, he actually ends up starting two games, but it's not its not like he started the season this time. Tyrod Taylor is the guy who stepped in in 2015, 
and took his job. I actually called this in mini in uh, training camp. I knew Tyrod was going to get the job, and he did. And EJ Manuel was put on the bench, and he only played. The only reason he was even in uh, two games was because uh, Tyrod Taylor could not stay healthy, and he gets injured because he runs around for his life. So, you know, nothing great from him there. He had three touchdowns, three picks, oh, not great at all. I mean, so in 2016, he actually only played one game. Um, no touchdowns, no picks, and he rushed for about 20 yards. He had like 131 yards in that game. Uh, you know, nothing great. Um, he also lost that game as well. Um, so he, he ended out his career, actually, sorry about that. One more, uh, one more year he had in the NFL, 2017 with Oakland. How could I forget? Uh, he started one game for Oakland, uh, I believe for an injured Derek Carr. Uh, don't quote me on that. He had a pick and a touchdown, but he did throw for 265 yards. So that wasn't bad. Um, he rushed for 29 and he still lost that game. So <laughs> he just isn't a great quarterback. Let's be honest. Um, so basically, in his career, he uh, you know he played in 30 games overall, only started 18 of them. Uh, he went six and 12 as his record. His completion percentage was 58.1 percent. It's okay. Um, he finished out with 3,700 yards on the season, 20 touchdowns or in his career, and then 20 touchdowns, 16 picks. So at least he came out positive in that uh, ratio there. He also rushed for 297 yards in his career. Um, so, you know, EJ just had a really, really bad career. And it really sucks. Because, you know, he really never got a chance to fully prove himself. And I kind of I kind of have an idea here. Right? Uh, and that was 2017. So he hasn't played in two years. Uh, he probably maybe just doesn't want to play anymore. That's why he's retiring. He doesn't want to have to deal with it. Uh, he doesn't want to be hopeful of being an NFL roster. Because clearly he just has no value i don't know why nobody wants him uh it's kind of upsetting he did have a tryout with uh, kansas city but they let him go um so what i was thinking was you know vince mcmahon's xfl is coming up and this isn't a crazy idea ej manuel goes to the xfl i mean he retired from the nfl but the xfl is wide open they need players they need quarterbacks and he's going to be a big name if he goes over there that's all i'm saying i'm not going to say any more about that hope you guys did enjoy this video sorry maybe it ran a little bit too long uh, just let me know in the comment section down below, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.